Hey everyone, how are things? My name is Vinicius Deschamps and in today's video I'm going to show how to export a database from Azure SQL using PowerShell. You probably recall that we have made a video for the same process but using Azure Portal, right? The idea is to ensure the copy is transactionally reconstant and we can do it in the same way as we did in the portal using the PowerShell. So let's do it. So as you can see, I already have the PowerShell script that we are going to use uh, for this demonstration. I have everything in place here. And uh, please keep in mind this script is also available in the blog and also in the description of this video. So check that out. And prior to execute that, I must uh, tell you that you have to have the Azure PowerShell module and you can also find this uh, address in the description of this video and at the blog. So please keep in mind that uh, you must have this module prior to execute the script. So let's execute the script then. So as we did in the Azure portal, we are going to copy the database first and then as this process takes a while, I will be back with you in a moment. This process uh, depends on the, the size of the database. Uh, so in my case, as it's um, a brand new database without any information, this process should be fast and shouldn't take uh, much time. So uh, it's probably going to finish in the next minute. There you go. The copy is now completed and now uh, it's uh, it started the operation of exporting the database that we just copied. So it's going to export to the storage account that we already have in place. And uh, let's wait and see how things progress. There you go. So the export operation is now completed. So let's check out in Azure portal and see where are our file. So I navigate through the storage account I know this one is the one that I choose uh, in the PowerShell script, so click on it, go to the containers, SQL export, and right now it's 528. So here is the backpack that I just exported uh, using PowerShell. Thanks for watching, I hope you like it, and I see you on my next video.